Hello, I'm Atuba George and so glad to be bringing this truth again to you. Praise God. Deuteronomy chapter 8 and verse 3. You know, I've just been sharing on this scripture because there's so much. I, I can continue sharing this for a whole month, see, because there are several aspects of it. Now he says, so he humbled you. He allowed you to hunger. It's the same thing I've been saying. He is the one that allowed you to get into the situation you found yourself right now. Maybe it's a financial situation. Maybe it's a health challenge. Maybe it's a marital situation. Whatever it is right now that you're facing, that you're thinking, oh, this thing is bringing so much discomfort to me. I don't know how to get out of this situation. Hey, God designed life to be that way. Now, you stop wondering, so what am I supposed to do? No. Listen, he said, the reason he did that, that's what he said here, he said, that he might make you know. Now, if this is what God is trying to get you to know, now, you, I'm, that's why I'm sharing this with you, you just get to that point where you say, Lord, I now know. Know what? That man should live by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. So, you in that situation right now, so you watching me right now, you see, if you just shut down everything now and say, Lord, I'm just getting this realization that I'm supposed to live by every word that proceeds from your mouth. Oh, that's why you, you, you've allowed me to be in this situation so that I can request for words from your mouth. Now, I told you the other day, it's not about quoting scriptures. Are you hearing me? It's not about saying, Okay, I know what to do. I will quote all the healing scriptures. And you begin to quote all the healing scriptures and quote all the... You may quote all the healing scriptures if the word of the Lord does not come from his mouth to you. Now, that's why the scriptures were given to us. When we study the scriptures, when we meditate on the scriptures, it leads to one thing. What does it lead to? That God speaks. Because everything we are reading in the scriptures is saying one thing. God speaks to men. Now, that's why I put a distinction between the Bible and the Word of God. See, many people don't understand this. There's a difference between the Word of God and, and the Bible. See, I, I defined it this way. The Bible is a compendium of testimonies of people who received the Word of God, what they did with it, and how they ended with it. Now, that's what the Bible is for. So, it's a book of truth. Everything you read in the Bible happened. Every word you, you read about in the Bible came came from God or, or whoever spoke it. That's the truth. Now, so this is a compendium of truth. But what is the purpose of the Bible to us? The purpose of the Bible is to let us know that the word of God is real. So we read in the Bible of Isaiah receiving the word of the Lord and it came to pass and we saw what happened. We read in the Bible that Jeremiah received the word of the Lord. It came to pass and, and we see this testimony. We read that Ezekiel received the word of God. Abraham received the word of God. Now, hear me. Don't read all those things and say, okay, I know what to do. Let me just be quoting all those things. No, they are telling you something. But did you get what the Bible is telling you? The Bible is telling you God speaks to men. And when men live by what God says, it becomes well with them. So what do you do? Don't stop at the reading. Go to the God who spoke to those men. Did you get this? So you, you go to the Lord the same way Abraham went to the Lord. You go to the Lord the same way Isaiah went to the Lord. Jeremiah went to the Lord. Ezekiel went to the Lord. All the prophets of old went to the Lord. Peter went to the Lord. Paul went to the Lord. See, even Paul testified and said, Look, the gospel that I have received, no man taught me. But I received it from the Lord himself. Now, you... And, and, and isn't it amazing? Paul went to the situation he went to, the same thing the children of Israel went to, so that he would know that, hey, you can receive this thing from the Lord. Now, it's what, that, that frustration you're facing, hear me? You could be facing frustration in ministry. You could be facing frustration in your marriage or at your job, whatever it is. The purpose is one. And what is it? That you will get to that place where you not only know, but you manifest the word of the Lord that will come to you. Because God wants to show you something new. God wants to teach you something he has never taught anybody before. He said, can there be something? Oh, oh, sure. There are lots of things we don't know yet. Praise God. So why don't you become, through the challenge you're facing right now, become one who's going to bring forth a new wisdom from the Lord to the earth. Think about it. There are many things seeking for answers. Get on with the answer. If you will go before the Lord and his word will come to you fresh from his mouth. See, he's about to give you 
pains that no one has ever experienced. He's about to give you testimonies that no one has ever experienced. Praise God. And that's why I'm praying for you right now. That the Spirit of God will help you understand these truths. And helping you understand this so that you will bring forth in abundance things that the Lord has written concerning you that no man has. There are truths that the Lord is bringing to you. And that's what I'm sensing in my spirit. That situation you are in right now. Shut yourself in with the Lord and say, Lord, I'm going to live by every word that proceeds from your mouth. So I need the word to live by, with, to live with right now. So I'm listening to you for your voice. And as I hear, I will do what you say to me to do. And listen, you are about to bring to pass in your life and to those around you a great miracle that will cause everyone to know that God loves you. Are you ready for that? Do this and you will see the results. Praise God. I've got to stop here. Now have a wonderful weekend and hear me. Happy Good Friday and Happy Easter in advance. God bless you. Bye-bye.